Hello friends. Uh, for the month of December, I thought I would just do something a little bit different. I don't want to reveal exactly where I'm going, but for this video, it's going to be pretty short. I'm just going to make a tiny little um, compiler, something that would compile a Ruby-like syntax into uh, a stack a uh, set of instructions for a stack VM. And uh, I guess if you just wanna hang out with me while we do that, uh, it might be fun, might be kinda cool, but we're gonna build on this over the next few days. Uh, and I think that's all I wanna say for now, but we'll we'll just get started. We'll do uh, um, stuff, I'm not sure what to call it yet. Uh, and we'll just make a um, gem file here. Uh, actually, I forget how to do this bundle in it, I think. Um, Version. Let's make sure we're on three dot one. Gym file. Uh, cool. I don't really care about that stuff, and don't care about that. Jim Natalie parser and Jim mini test and Jim mini test uh, focus. I think uh, that should do it. And we'll edit. Uh, let's do make dir spec slash compiler spec. Uh, nope, not make dir. How about just make dir spec and then edit spec compiler spec and require, um, I think it's mini test, mini test auto run, I think is what it's called. Describe compiler uh, require relative. Uh, lib and compiler. Okay, <laughs> a little bit of boilerplate code and uh, what, what do we want it to do? I guess we want it to take a little bit of code. Uh, let's say it compiles integers, okay? Um, and we'll say def compile is something like this, compiler.new code code.compile, okay. Compile uh, one, um, expect must equal, uh, and we'll just use some arrays for now for instructions, and we'll say push int one like that. And now let's get some tests running. Uh, I'll start at RB, and uh, let's do this. Touch, Victor, lib, touch, lib, pilot, RB. Uh, I'll start into CS, rake. Uh, no, I don't really have rake yet. Let's just do it this way. Spec, compiler, spec, RB. Okay, uh, great. We have a failing test, which is exactly what we were hoping for here. Let's move this down here lib compiler rb class compiler and def initialize code code uh -huh, def compile and okay that should at least get us a little bit farther and we're not not getting big fat errors anymore now uh we want to parse the code so let's do ast equals natalie parser hmm Natalie, parser, parse, code, require, uh, bundler, setup, require, Natalie, parser. Mm, yeah, something like that. Uh, okay, that didn't fail. That's good. So if we print our AST, what do we get? Uh, we get our lit one. And so we'll just have a private def transform node here. And then this will recursively call itself um, down the road, but for now we'll just do case node sex type. When it's a lit, if it's something else, we're just gonna raise unknown node, uh, node.inspect. And then we'll say when it's a lit, then we're gonna get the value out of it and we're going to return a push int value, something like that. Okay, that didn't quite work because we didn't call it transform uh, at EST. Does that get us closer? Gets us kind of close. Um, I think we want 
Hmm, I think we want that to be uh, a block. So let's see, what do we get here? We just get the raw node. So let's say uh, AST is six bot new block AST unless AST is uh, six is a block. We want to wrap it, always wrap it, wrap it in a block, I think. Unknown node block little one. Okay, cool. Um, actually, do I want to do that? <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna take that away. Um, transform, maybe I do this. Maybe I do instructions is an empty array, and then we'll do instructions. We'll try it this way for now. Okay, that gets that test passing. Uh, let's do strings now. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. We're having fun. We're having some fun strings. Foo, foo, uh, stir. Okay, failing test, unknown node, stir, foo. And we'll uh, just do win stir, um, yeah, values node. And then we'll just do something similar to this. That should get us another passing test. Okay, now let's do um, let's do variables. It compiles variable setting, I guess, setting variable stuff. Um, and we'll just copy this, expect A is one, and uh, then getting the variable back out. So we set it to something and then we, so we're gonna compile several things, uh, assignment and getting the variable. So we wanna do push int, one and then we want to uh, set var a and then we want to push var a so we're uh, pushing a value onto the stack and then we're setting it into the variable a which also pops it off of the stack and then we're pushing it back onto the stack from that variable uh, and so we're writing all this for a future vm that doesn't exist yet but um we should still be able to imagine that there's a stack that we're working with that we're going to be working with an node block l sign a okay so now we're getting into the block stuff and with blocks i think we can just um uh -huh. Instru let's see nodes is node and then for each um each do, uh, each node, they want to transform that node, I think, okay? Unknown node L assign, that is the assignment of the value to the variable A. So we'll just do win L-A-S-G-N, right? L-A-S-G-N. Sorry, I flipped back and forth a lot. I'm sure that is confusing or... Uh, Weird, uh, but we'll do name values node and I guess we transform the value that will push the value onto the stack, and then we do instructions uh, set var and then the name that gives us uh, that part is passing, but now we're back. Uh, on the variable getting it back out again, LVAR. When LVAR name is node, and then we'll do instructions uh, push VAR name. Okay, that got us kind of close, except what happened here? Um, L assigned. What did, I, what did I do with L assigned that was wrong? Instructions. Oh, I'm not returning the instructions. It just happened to work before um, because, because it was the last uh, thing in each block or each uh, condition, but now, now we have to return that. Perfect. Uh, cool. Is there anything else we could do for our little machine? Um, I don't want to give away too much, but uh, what's, what's something else? Maybe we could do a method. Hmm. Should we do a method today or save it for tomorrow? Uh, maybe save it for tomorrow. Yeah, I think this is good for now. We've got our little compiler that does uh, uh, three things. It does integers and strings, and then it does variables, getting the variable back out, setting it and getting it back out. So 
fun little <laughs> little bit of work here. Uh, you know, I wish I could say more about where I'm going with this. Uh, just stay tuned, I guess, um, and, and we'll see where it goes. Uh, hope to see you soon.